Haba Nigeria, as Salotunao, I come meet una today for serious matter because this one we go talk calm for house talk. Since 2015, Nigeria joined poorer and newer countries to go beg for Europe. Say it gets problem. This one our government did do. I know I sure say many Nigerians not even know say they happen. But our governments don't put Nigeria name forward. Say they among the countries where they suffer. It means say Nigeria join poorer newer countries around for Africa. They go say we they suffer oh our people not fit up oh they they die oh una can't help us Europe. Nigeria joined since 2050. Every year Nigeria they go back for Oslo Norway. You know what it mean be this? It means say. Nigeria now, they say you they drive for your motor, you they car, or taxi or bus. People where they shake bone by the window. Now Nigeria don't be globally. Nigeria they beg, they shake bone. Who now give us money with the sofa? Since 2015, so 2015 Nigeria dwarm, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, end of 19, Nigeria declare, say he go beg for 2020. Even before 2020 come, he don't prepare itself. And we be people of faith. We in a way till you project that they happen. So Nigeria don't prepare us. Prepare the country to be beggar again for 2020. Now, I'll be small busybody. I love my country, Nigeria. I go ask government, say why? Nigeria with all the resources get the beg. Because I don't do this with my terrain work for about 20 years. I know what it means for country to be seen as one of the bold beggars. Government tell me, say, ah, for 2015, the economy, the crude oil prices slumped. So Nigeria had no choice. He had to beg. I said, okay, oh, I hear. Crude oil slumped for 2015. I put my eye for the matter since. I know. Say since for September 2019, about uh, maybe four months ago, following the bombing for Saudi Arabia, crude oil price go up, shoot up, where, 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 where. So I expect in Nigeria, Make some money from her. Now, as I they talk to you, 7th of January 2020, following the attack by United States on that important Iranian then key for Iraq, I know say crude oil price, it don't go up again. So I expect in Nigeria go don't prepare itself to remove itself from the shame of being an international beggar. So that excuse for 2015, say oh, uh, oh, crude oil price slumped in all day again. So Nigeria go down gather itself to remove itself from countries where they beg. It's not good for us. You know, say we be Niger. Where we stand with other Africans, we they sapin make younger. But you know, say, there are how many 50 plus countries for Africa, 54 countries in Africa. Now for about 14 or about that amount for Africa, they beg. Nigeria, they one of them. Which means some of the countries who they go make younger for look down on. They're not a beg, they're not be beggar. Now we be a government don't present us as beggar. Fellow Nigerians, a beggar. It gets some kind of shame where we need to discard. Waiting we get now our pride. Nigeria has so much potentials. Nigeria has so much to give. We fit on our positioning. Believe me, who they give aid and who they receive. Now how you position yourself? Because the America where they give pass, they both say now they give pass. Now they all pass. On our bad identity. It gets some kind of things we know we're not supposed to allow. Make we stop this one. I beg. Nigeria should not be one amongst 14 African countries that go to the West to beg each year that it needs humanitarian funds, it needs humanitarian assistance. Nigeria should instead be funding poorer and newer African countries in the continent. Nigeria and they relinquish its place, a place of power, and it will affect our future generation. It will affect our children. We need to stop them. The idea of beggar and receiver, not pre prediction. No. Nigeria should stop being a global and international beggar. Thank you for listening, my people. Unado. <laughs>